Hi everyone, happy holidays from Car Galaxy Studios. I just wanted to say thanks for all my subscribers this year. I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody. Now I made an actual list of everybody that uh, has been uh, has subscribed to me this year and I can't thank you enough. It means a lot to me. It's growing my channel and um, I'm hoping 2018 is gonna be a big year. We're gonna grow some more, get some more videos out. Um, Anyway, without further ado, I just wanted to address a couple of people here. So, Richie Rich 9120 uh, Mark McEwen, and SNYTZE98, The Game Guy, St. Clair Entertainment, Roderick Villarus, Wild Niagara, Dual Phoenix, Angie Bartow, Ray's Mixes, uh, Rockasan, uh, Jesus Fuentes, KK Bronson, NSTP0121, uh, Steve in Michigan. Uh, once again, thank you guys. Um, JCC Tech, Lord Greystoke, uh, Kevin Liu, um, Darren and Alex, Antonio Erman, Eremo, sorry if I spell that incorrectly, uh, Andron234, um, e, Eclectic Closet, Sandra DTV, Howard Tishkoff, uh, Cap Mr. Doors, uh, Rodolfo Air, Adrian Widera, uh, Anthony Salvegio, James Gibb, Jared Burns, Jeff Ong, Abil His Rockstar, and Mr. Gymnos. Those are the, all, all the subscribers that I was able to see on my channel. I know there's a bunch of you too that uh, don't share your um, subscriber thing, but that's okay. Happy holidays to all you guys. Thanks once again for subscribing. And this is my naughty and nice segment. So this is for some of you bigger YouTubers who I follow who uh, I love following, I love you guys, uh, but I thought I'd do something a little uh, special this year, and uh, I come up with a naughty and nice segment. So here we go. First on the list for naughty and nice for 2017, and happy holiday wishes. So Tom and Lucas Antos, or Tom Antos Films. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out Tom, check his channel out. I'll post all the links in the description below for all the naughty and nice channel segments. So Tom and Lucas are naughty because they spend way too much money on gear. And I am so jealous of the fact that they have so many sponsors. But seriously, the community loves the fact that you guys are doing what you're doing. And I hope it continues for 2018. I can't wait to see what gear Tom's going to come up with in the giveaways he gives away. So that's your naughty segment. Your nice segment, here it goes. I have enjoyed watching a true indie filmmaker who has done filmmaking the real way. Started with nothing and built up for making home movies. The creative vision, tips and tricks Tom provides his cine on his cinematography are fantastic, but anyone can pick up and just try things. Um, that's what YouTube is about and Tom does it well. Uh, watching filmmaking submissions on Sundays is a great way to learn and get feedback from the community and we have all benefit, benefited from this feedback. Tom, I continue to learn a lot from you and one day I hope to meet you in person uh, and help participate in any projects you have, uh, time permitting of course. I would love to write a screenplay for you at some point. I would love to get around to that, Tom. I just haven't had uh, much time to actually write anything and ideas have been few and far between lately, so YouTube has been the main focus, but I hope to do something in 2018. Um, I'll be passing more of my ideas along to you guys in 2018 and hopefully something can come about. Lucas, even though we have not met in person, I feel like you are a best friend, like I've known you for years. I continue to enjoy your enthusiasm and love helping out on Sundays uh, now as a moderator. So I'm a moderator on uh, Tom Antos Films. Uh, and now we're going to talk about the Niminator or Nick Nimmin. If you haven't checked out Nick's channel, check in the description below after. Nick is naughty because... Nick streams from Thailand. 
He can drink Thai iced tea coffees or regular coffees and eat real Thai food all day long if he wanted to. That's naughty. Nice. Nick is a real gentleman. He constantly helps his father succeed on YouTube through tips and tricks. Uh, and also guides us better to be better YouTubers in general. Nick is a smart, caring individual who puts himself out there for others. He is rarely just about himself, which makes him unique among a lot of others. I've learned a lot from his YouTube tips and, uh, tips and tricks and become a true fan and friend. So Nick, happy holidays to you. Tim Schmoyer, uh, otherwise known as Video Creators. Naughty for Tim. Tim, seven kids? That's naughty. Tim is like that friendly guy next door. He's a great guy, offers a lot of advice at making your YouTube channel a success, and has a lot of great guests who offer even more insights. I uh, started following Tim a couple years ago, uh, and I, I, I fell in love with Tim's way in which he presents and his, just his, his personality in general. This year was a great year for Tim as he did his first successful YouTube in-person training event with a lot of different um, creators as well as a lot of different uh, people like Daryl Eves, uh, I forget who the other ones were there, I'm sorry Tim, but, um, and the first training event was, it was an all-out success. Um, it was a big rest for Tim, he was, he was worried about it and he came out on top, so awesome job Tim, uh, I knew it would work out. Thank you, Tim, for all your hard work, and hope to see those baby pictures from baby number seven in 2018. Actually, it should be soon, shouldn't it? Darius Britt, or D4 Darius. Naughty for Dar D4 Darius. Talking to a Will Smith doll. Okay, that's not na naughty, but it's damn original. Take notes, folks. Naughty. Darius is the coolest indie filmmaker and teacher I've watched in a while. I've learned a lot about basic filmmaking and, and, a, little of, and, and a lot about style and how that's important. Uh, Darius really brings it to the table. As, an, as a small budget indie filmmaker, Darius is really pushing boundaries and I love that. I'm looking forward to 2018 and seeing how this master teaches us his craft uh, in more depth. Peter McKinnon. Naughty list for Peter McKinnon. Crashing a drone on camera and creating a whole video about it? That's naughty. I first started watching Pete only a few months ago. All I can say is that his stuff is really cool. His visual style and image quality is far beyond what a lot of other channels are doing. Uh, he takes vlogging to a whole nother level and he does a lot of, and I love watching his travel videos. If I only had his enthusiasm and energy, it would be fantastic. Um, which is probably why I like watching Pete and not actually doing the things that Pete does. <laughs> because I don't know if I'd be able to keep up myself. Pete's fantastic. Pete is also from the Toronto area, which is close by, so it makes him almost a neighbor. Casey Neistat. Naughty Casey Neistat. Casey throws a lot of his stuff in his unboxing videos, especially from gifts that people send him. Uh, this might be a possible safety hazard. Naughty. I started watching Casey not too long ago. Pretty much at the same time I learned about Peter McKinnon. Casey has a fantastic style and a go-getter attitude that is rare today. I love his take on things and love watching the places and people he runs into. I especially like his guest stars, aka the UPS delivery guy. He's a down-to-earth New Yorker on YouTube who likes to have likes to have fun and do amazing things. Your Christmas event video, uh, which just actually happened at the time of this filming, uh, was incredible. Uh, it transformed the way Christmas is done. <laughs> You've now set the bar higher, so kudos for that. Um, the way you transformed a shutdown mall in Milwaukee and had all those kids uh, you made their Christmas, they will remember you forever. That was a fantastic event that you did. Uh, I look forward to watching you in 2018, buddy. Philip Bloom, filmmaker, and he's from the UK. Philip Bloom, naughty list. 
Philip chose the Sony a7R 3 mirrorless over the GH5 for the best camera. Mirrorless camera for 2017. That's an inside joke. I love watching him tell a visual story all while giving you a product review in the process. He is a gem and I always look forward to watching Philip's reviews, especially of the higher end equipment that I will probably never own. Um, his views on, on certain cameras and the way he does things, it's just, it's, it's different from a lot of the other YouTubers and I really enjoy watching you, Philip. So cheers, mate. One day, perhaps, we could sit down to a cup of tea, perhaps in Niagara-on-the-Lake, because I'm close by. Cheers, mate. Tony and Chelsea Northrop. Naughty list for Tony and Chelsea Northrop. I had a really hard time thinking about this one. The only thing I could come up with was that bass scene that Chelsea did. And everybody thought it was going to be Chelsea, and it wasn't, and it was some naked guy in the bath. <laughs> so, that was definitely naughty, though. Oh, the only other thing I could come up with is, you got to give Justin more time on the channel next year. I essentially learned photography from these two when I started watching the YouTube channel a couple of years ago. I love learning and continue to learn from them as new gear comes out. Tony's unique information technology background I can basically relate to and provides me the knowledge and perspective that I love. I was also in IT. Not anymore. Chelsea adds the fun to the live show and the two of them combined provide a lot of quality entertainment. Uh, I just want to say thanks to you guys. Tony, you really do have an eye for photography and uh, like I said, I've learned a lot from you. I've learned all about sensor technology. I've learned about crops, uh, crop factors. Uh, the crop factor was a big thing for me. You, you actually did the math, you showed me why, and you proved it. So, um, learned a lot from that video. That was a couple years ago. So thank you, and cheers, happy holidays. Camera Store TV, Chris and Jordan. Naughty list for Chris and Jordan, the Camera Store TV. The Playboy box in the library on your live streams. Naughty. I love hearing about photography gear and video specific gear from these guys. Jordan, you have a fantastic uh, experience with, with video. Learned a lot from you. That Tokina lens set, that cinema lens set, that's like a dream that, of mine to own that set. Um, that was a few live streams ago, I think it was maybe a couple of months ago. You guys always give real world, sh real world shooting examples and you make things fun. Uh, love hanging out in your live chat, and, live chat and getting the info we need. Also as a fellow Canadian, I see And my last one today of 2017 is Felix, or otherwise known as PewDiePie. Naughty for PewDiePie. PewDiePie in Swedish means naughty. No, that's a lie, but they should probably add it to the dictionary anyway. For many, this may surprise you, but I actually do like watching Felix. He makes you laugh. I don't laugh all the time, as he is the type that will say things and to, just to get a rise out of people and sometimes goes too far with it. He walks a fine line and sometimes gets into real trouble. If you laugh, you lose, and sometimes he does too. If I was to sum up Felix in Dungeons and Dragons with a twist of Star, War, Star Wars theme, he would be a chaotic good character with dark side tendencies. But he always come, comes back and the force is always with him. He can invoke the Christian channel power. As a viewer of Felix, I find he is quite entertaining. I suspect that Felix is also much different when he's not on camera, and he's probably a much better person in person, as, most of, as many of us are. I look forward to Felix's more interesting adventures and developments in 2018, and I love watching his channel and being a subscriber again. Hopefully that stuff in 2017 will get left behind for you, and you can move on and be happier. Well, I hope you guys found this entertaining. Um, I really enjoyed 2017 on YouTube. I'm looking forward to growing my channel with you guys. And uh, just want to say happy holidays from us, 
from me here at Car Galaxy Studios. Thanks again for watching. See you in 2018.